think some advice that I'd give to my high school self would be to be open-minded. Um, coming to college, I grew so much from the person I was in high school to I am now. Um, and that just came from having to deal with different opportunities, different scenarios, obstacles, whatever it be. Um, and it just helped me to grow as a person and individual. And I think if I wasn't open-minded and we wasn't able to adapt to these different things, um, I wouldn't have grown as much as I have and been like the strong leader I am or like the successful student or, you know, had these opportunities to go to Atlantic Records. Like what? I was a freshman applying. I went to um, the internship fair and a lot of people were like, wow, you're a freshman? You're here? What? Starting so early? And they were amazed by that. And that's because I was open-minded and willing to go even as a freshman, even though I knew I didn't have as much experience as the juniors and seniors. Don't stress about your future. Don't try to have everything planned out because there's going to be different things that come your way and make sure to take advantage of those things. If they don't necessarily fit into this plan that I had, that is okay. Just always stay open. That's what I would tell my younger self. So before I got to college, I was gifted this like board, just like just a magnetic board. And it said, on your new adventures, be brave. And I was like, what does that mean? Like, oh, I don't know like what you want me to do, like bravery, like saving cats from trees, like what kind of bravery is this? But like in my freshman year, I always used to look at it and like come to learn that like being brave doesn't have to be something big. Like being brave can be trying out for something new, like trying out for your school play, trying out for the basketball team. It could be talking to the person sitting next to you, making new friendships, like hanging out after class, study buddies kind of thing. It could be sitting in the three front rows during class so you could get a better handle on what's going on, paying attention. It could be talking to a professor. I feel like no professor at Penn State has ever wanted me to fail, has ever reveled in the fact that I might <laughs> end up, yeah, yeah, they're not plotting against you. They get really excited when people come to their office hours and things like that, and they're always so helpful. So I feel like being brave in that aspect can be something little, going to a club meeting. So like, try everything. There are very few times in life where you get to start a new adventure that's completely different from what you've done before. And I would definitely say college is one of those times. And even after college is one of those, definitely one of those times where you're starting out new. So definitely be brave. My biggest thing would just be like, not to stress over one, where I was going to school and two, like what I wanted to do with my life. Cause I, you know, I saw everybody around me that knew I want to go to this school. I want to major in nursing. Like I know exactly what I want to do. And I was like kind of freaking out a little bit because I didn't have a hugely clear path. Like I knew I was interested in law. I knew I was interested in communications. But aside from that, I didn't know what my next four years were going to look like. Um, so my biggest thing was just to be like, relax. Like it'll all work out. Um, like whenever I noticed that I was stopping like doing the research and like really like listening to like what my gut feeling was, that's whenever I was figuring things out. That's when I figured out where I wanted to go to school. That's where I figured out what I wanted to do in my life, really. Um, so definitely don't stress. <laughs> yeah.